Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a new feature or new addition into the document understanding, which is Forms AI. So let's explore this preview version of uh, uh, Forms AI that we have currently right now. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk completely about Forms AI and how we can create and how, you know, what all the things that we can do about it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can use the endpoint of the project that we have created in the studio. Okay. <clears throat> so if you're someone who don't have understanding on doc, uh, who don't have knowledge on document understanding, I would suggest you uh, to watch the playlist that I already have on document understanding in my channel. So for that, um, you just have to go on into my channel. So here is my channel. Under playlist, you can see um, under document understanding playlist, we have six videos. So uh, I would suggest you go and check out these six videos. These are having the a every detail about document understanding if you are new to it you can uh, quickly learn along with some examples that i have uh, portrayed in my videos so now let's coming back to uh, the actual topic which is forms ai so what is basically forms ai we all know that extracting information from the documents is basically a tedious task right so in order to do that let's consider if we have the structured documents we are going for um, a form-based extractor. So this is a uh, form A forms AI is um, one such thing, but I cannot say it's exactly the same, but it will, you know, reduce our work to half whatever we are doing by using the form-based extractor. So it, this will, um, let's say if we have a sample document of five, six documents. So if we train the document uh, to extract certain part of information, so based on the information that we've given, it will be trained and it will predict the information for the next documents. So it's it's quite easy, right, for us to just go and confirm if, if it is extracting the required information or not, right? So for uh, in this video, I'm going to show how this actually works and how we can use the endpoint and how we can, um, you know, use it in the studio in the next video. And okay, for this video, I have taken few samples. Uh, if you want, I can provide you the samples as well. Um, but let's see how we can create the project. So first of all, you have to be on your cloud.uipath.com. Um, after that, you can see uh, document understanding on the left side ribbon, right? So if suppose if this is not enabled for you, go to admin. Here in admin, you have an option to select tenant settings, click on it, and you can see document understanding. Just check this uh, checkbox and click on save. So once that's done, you can see the document understanding on your left side panel. So once that is done, we are on the document understanding page. So here uh, you will be having all the projects that you have created listed over here. So now I'm going to click on new project. So let's say if you're using the UIPA document OCR, so you don't have to do anything with the OCR URL. It will be just, uh, you know, popping out and API key is optional. If you have it, you can provide it. And let's say if you are if you are opting for any other OCR engines, then you have to provide the URL and the API key corresponding to that. And in that case, it's uh, API key is required. So let me go for forms AI um, sample or demo project. Okay and I'm going to create. So once after you create the project, you can click on it. So you, you have an option to give the document types over here. So click on new using forms AI, you will get an option. So here I'm going to provide form 4056D. That is the reference forms that I'm having with me right now. So I will also show you if uh, you wanted to get the document from where, uh, you know, you can read about it. it. It's there in the forum. So click on browse files to upload. So I have my files in this folder from CI docs. So these are my files. So I'm going to load three files. 
So let's go for one, first one, fourth one, and fifth one. So I'm going to load these files. So once after you load the files, click on next. It will be uploading. It will be adding the documents. It's it's quite um, <coughs> straightforward. So if you see here in the, as this is in the preview, we can also see, uh, we can add two to 20 similar documents with maximum five pages. So maximum limit of the documents is only 20 and it should be of five pages each. We cannot add more than five pages and uh, the limit is only for the 20 documents right now. And you can also see it, uh, whatever the document types that it supports. So meanwhile, it's adding my documents. So you can also see the steps that it takes uh, uh, towards your right. So if you are adding the documents, that's the step you're doing right now. And later we will verify the documents and uh, create the extractor. So then now the next is verifying the document. So these are the documents that we've added and click on the next. The verification part is done. Okay, so now um, what actually we are going to do here is, so if you see uh, by the time uh, it has come up, in, in uh, by the time it has going to create the extractor on the right hand side we already have some fields which are auto generated right so based on our requirement if you want the fields uh, we can just keep them otherwise we have an option here to delete edit or you know to modify based on our requirement so uh, let me talk a little bit about these so we have the content type just like our data type we can provide whatever the con uh, the type of the uh, doc, uh, particular field that we are giving. So it can be number, string, date, phone, or ID. And uh, the shortcut key, It, uh, it uh, I'll shortly explain you what the shortcut key actually is and how it will be useful for extracting the information. So here in this case, the shortcut key is F and we have an option called as multi-line. So when do we use multi-line? Basically in the case of uh, addresses, uh, uh, we may have the chance of multi-line. So you, or else if you think the text is going in two, three lines and if, if it's, you know, uh, ex has to be extracted from different lines. So in that case, you can enable the multi-line line option that will help you to uh, extract the whole information regarding to that particular field. So if you don't want this uh, particular field or something, then you can click on delete uh, or you can just save it. OK, so in my case, I don't want the second security number because it's not there in all the three cases. So I'm going to delete this particular <coughs> field. And I am having the current address, previous address, and this is my check boxes. So let's say it is an account transcript. By default, it, it has provided me some random text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this. So there are some limitations over here. So we cannot provide the capital letters and spaces. So I'm going to take it in this format, account transcript, and then I'm going to save it. And transcript available, something is coming up. This I will name it as record of account so that it will be easy for me to, you know, identify what field I'm exactly extracting. Record of account. So it, I feel that, you know, that it is, it's, it should be in allowing the capital letters because we are most likely to you know use the camel case so it's kind of i personally feel it's kind of uh, not possible for me to restrict myself from using the capital letters okay so next going to year or period requested so it is showing something wrong right so what i can do is now i can use my shortcut which is y right this is my shortcut that's coming up uh, or instead you can just check it over here as well. This is why. So uh, what I can do, I can just highlight it and then I can click on Y. So this has to go in uh, to this particular value, but I am not pretty sure why it's not coming up that way. Let me delete this. So in order to delete this, I have just clicked um, on that and I have press the delete on my keyboard. So it has deleted. So now freshly, I will again do a selection on my screen. So once after I selected, I'm going to click on the shortcut. So now you can see it has come up, but it's not clear. So what I'm going to do, let me 
delete this up. And you have an option to create an ad field. So in this, I would say your, okay, your requested. Okay. So under this, I will select this whole thing. And I'll say why. So now it has um, taken everything, like all the information, and it has shown me up to here. So this is pretty good. And after that, I can take the phone number, but it's it's not there. Okay. Next, I'm having the signatory, sig uh, signatory at, at test, um, so that I can just change this only to signatory. Just delete this whole data. Okay. And then save. Cool. And this information, I feel it's wrong again. So what I'm going to do, I'll delete it. And I'm saying shortcut F, I'm pressing on F. It's not coming up. Um, I am, I think uh, this, they have to improve uh, because it's not coming up in an auto-generated field. That's what I observed because when I'm creating a field of my, my own, then it's coming up. But um, let's say I'm deleting this field. <clears throat> uh, and I'm adding the field and say first SSN social security number then I'm going and highlighting this one and clicking on F so, yeah. we can see this particular thing has come up so yeah uh, we've extracted name current address previous address and Okay, uh, previous address, account transcript, record of, and all this information. And if you want to add a few more details, you can even do that. So now, um, so this is clear. It will be auto-saved. We don't have any option to save or something. It will be saved as soon as you, you know, um, give the information. Um, and all other information looks pretty good, like it as it is from the document. And if you see, it's one out of the three documents that we've uploaded. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the next document. If you see, it's loading. Uh, and also, whatever the fields that we have trained in the previous document, those it will try to extract from those particular fields. And here, if you see the option, there's an option called predict. So once after you click on that uh, predict, the left side it's trying to uh, you know uh, learn from the previous model and it is trying to replicate the information on the right hand side that's what it actually does and we can just cross check and see if the extracted information is correct or not account transcript record of account signatory and your requested so if you see this information is not uh, pulled accurately so what i'm going to do uh, let me select this whole data and I'll give a shortcut Y. And now it's done, okay? And the first SSN is also extracted properly. I'm happy with this document. Now let's go to the next and do the predict. Let's see what it actually extracts. Okay, this is good. Current address, previous address, account transcript is not there, which is correct. Record, a record of account, nature, and then, okay, again, this information is not right. So just do click on Y, it would come up. So, Yes, this is right. So this is it. Um, we are good with uh, training, but I am not pretty sure about this part because every time I'm going to uh, extract this, but uh, I am really not sure how much it's gonna work in the uh, when we when we give it in the multiple other documents. So let's see how this actually works when we do it in the studio and. 
till now uh, we have trained by using the three documents and uh, i think maybe it can learn more after we you know keep on training with multiple documents uh, but as of now it has uh, uh, apart from this field it has uh, picked up all other uh, other information in a right way and so yeah we have trained the training portion is done and now it's time to publish so let's click on publish so this is kind of extractor so how we can give the extractor name so for this i have form uh, forms ai and i'm using it for 4056d form and it's a demo so extractor i'm just giving a name for this and i'm going to publish it so it, it will provide me an endpoint. I'm copying the endpoint and closing it. So now what we have done, we have had a uh, endpoint URL that we can use it. So if you, if you ask me how I can use it and how it will be uh, you know helpful for extracting the data from the actual documents. So now let's go back to the document understanding page. And here we can see the extractors that we have created under the project. And this is my project that I've created right now. And these are the extractors. So if you see, this is my extractor, right? The one I have published. Um, so one second, let me go back to other extractor that I had. Go to projects. So these are the other extractor that I had earlier. This is also kind of same, but uh, just for the demoing purpose, I'm using this. So I'm having this extractor. This is my extractor. So you have an option to copy the URL of this extractor from here as well. So now, uh, just like how we are using the ML extractor for extracting the information from the invoices and receipts. Uh, so in the same way, we can use this particular extractor in order to extract the information from the forms which I've shown. It should be of the similar format. If, if it's of the similar format and if it's having the fields that we are wanted to extract, then definitely we can pick up the information from those forms um, by using this particular URL. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Um, in the in the coming videos, I will show you how we can use this URL in the studio and how we can extract the information easily. So for that, I will be using the document understanding template that I'm having. So if you are uh, new to this document understanding as i suggested you i have a video in my channel uh, where i am talking about uh, document understanding template so i would suggest you go and check all the videos on the document understanding and, and get a clear understanding of what actually we are doing and uh, you know after that if you watch the video then it will be very clear for you um, so i believe uh, this is it uh, in this video and we'll be catching you up with uh, the next video um, with the extractor information and how we can do that in the studio. Thank you so much for watching. And if you find this video useful, do like the video and subscribe to my channel so that uh, you'll get the notification as soon as I upload the video. Thank you.